So we're making some hot chocolate pancakes this morning. They smell good. You feel a little better about the campsite now than you did last night? Yeah, last night we got here late in the dark and I just wanted to go to bed. And then this morning I got up early and I just wanted to stay in bed. <laughs> now I woke up and I've, I feel better. I like it. The campsite's good. I can enjoy it more now. <laughs> you glad we got up early though? Yeah, after seeing all the people in the parking lot afterwards, yeah. If Hard as it was. <laughs> if you folks would like to see our uh, hiking adventure from today, Look up Hanging Rock Trail and Hanging Rock State Park in North Carolina and you'll be able to follow along. But this is our campsite. The ground is just glowing with all the beautiful leaves as well as the trees. going to be a good weekend folks we're going to be here three nights four days and we have a thanksgiving episode coming don't we tina yeah we will make an attempt at a thanksgiving camping meal we'll see i've never never done that before but we will see sounds good what are we having what's on the menu um rotisserie chicken instead of turkey because we don't need a big turkey for two people and i didn't really want to do a turkey breast because you know it's kind of be a whole bird. So we got a whole bird. How are we cooking it? <laughs> We're going to try a Dutch oven. We'll see how it goes. Stuffing, corn, mashed potatoes. Sounds like a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. As long as it turns out. We'll find out. If not, stuffing's enough to eat for me. <laughs> <laughs> you comfortable, Tina? Yeah, I just hiked up to the bathroom and it's way uphill too. Everything is uphill. <laughs> So since we got in late last night, we just opted for the Taco Bell and we didn't um, cook. So I still hadn't had a meal that we didn't eat. So we're gonna eat it today as our lunch, lupper in between lunch and supper. So we're gonna make pizza subs on the fire. So we just got some squeeze pizza sauce here. We're gonna put on them. Um, just bought some sub rolls. and some mozzarella cheese, some ham, and pineapple. These little kids' pineapple cups that they put in their lunch um, make a great one person or single serving camping. So we're gonna get these ready and pop them on the fire for a little bit. And then we'll be able, we'll be ready to eat our lunch. How's the pizza subs coming, Tina? Jay cranked up the heat a little bit. <laughs> Look pretty delicious. This looks good, y'all. Mmm. Look at all that cheese in there. Don't drop it. That cheese looks good. Okay, folks, I don't have any doubt. I'm sure these are gonna be excellent, but we're gonna test them out. A little hot. Got the melted cheese, the ham. Can't have a pizza sub without pineapple, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you can. Hmm. <laughs> this is pretty good. How's your pizza sub? It's good. Is it good? It's nice and warm on a cool day. Who doesn't like melted cheese? <laughs> it's just sitting here starting to rain and notice the deer just come walking down the street. How was breakfast this morning? It's good, thank you. We got our little heater going. 
We made our breakfast. That'll keep our bellies full for our hike today. How long is our hike today? I don't know, because we're putting trails together for a loop and nobody else on all trails or anything has done that. So I'm going to guess around seven, but I don't know. The maps don't really have exact mileage. So it's been a cold morning this morning. It's probably about uh, 38 degrees. Well, I got my nice hash here that I'm eating. Hash browns, eggs, bacon. And of course you gotta put cheese in everything, right? A little bit of hot sauce and ketchup. It's about, uh, what time is it, Tina? Quarter to eight. So it's quarter to eight. And we're getting ready to go hiking today. So if you are interested in seeing what our hike was today and what kind of views we saw, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and look for our playlist called Hiking Adventures. And we are in Hanging Rock State Park. And uh, we hope to have a good hike today. It is supposed to be a little bit windy, so we'll probably have to deal with that a little bit. I'm hoping the wind hasn't knocked all the leaves off the trees, so hopefully we'll have some nice views. But stay with us and uh, come along. How cold is it supposed to get tonight? I think about 28. How and it's pretty windy. I hope the wind dies down or else it's going to be pretty chilly. <laughs> What's it feel like right now? Feels like it's probably about what? 40s. 35, 40? Probably. We got a fire going. Keep us warm. I think the wind's what's making it so chilly. I'll put a tarp up here behind us. Block some of the wind coming from behind us. And from this direction, our gazebo's blocking the wind. But we have this whole open area right here and the wind seems to be coming from every direction. So this is about all the tarps I've got. So this is what we get, blocking it 50% of the time, but the wind's real cold. But we'll just have to keep the fire hot, right? Yep. Yep. I think we got enough wood. Well, maybe. One, two, three, four, five bundles. We started with seven, or maybe 10. Well, happy Thanksgiving, guys. We're getting ready to cook our Thanksgiving meal here at camp. Um, gonna try a whole chicken in the crock pot. I guess it's not a crock pot. It is a Dutch oven since I'm at camp. I would have cooked this in the crock pot if I was at home. So we really have no idea how long this is gonna take. It's gonna be an experiment, but hopefully it's good. Okay, so we had to put another side up because the wind was coming in here and just make, giving us the shivers while we're trying to cook. But Tina's getting the, the fixings ready. Well, I'm gonna put some onion on the bottom of the Dutch oven to set the chicken on while it cooks. We're gonna use the rest of the onion to stuff it. It is very cold out here to be doing this with your bare hands with a cold wet chicken. So we're just gonna stuff it with the onions and garlic. Which will help flavor the meat as it cooks. And then we're gonna put a rub on underneath the skin. Ooh, that's freezing. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the seasoning. I pre-made the seasoning at home, 
so I put paprika, some garlic powder, onion powder, um, some salt. So we're gonna try and get this up under the skin to flavor it. Oh, that's cold out here. <laughs> it is a cold day for this. That looks good, folks. Hopefully I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to dig into this. Looks like it's gonna take a while to cook, though. That's a good thing about camp. You got nothing but time. Okay, we're ready to check the bird, see how it's cooking. Hopefully it hasn't burned yet. I have a feeling it has not. Oh yeah. That's cooking good. What do you think, Tina? That looks good. It's coming along good. Probably take maybe another hour and a half, I'm assuming. We'll be digging in, having a nice Thanksgiving dinner. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. So I got up this morning about uh, 5 o'clock a.m. come out of the tent to go to the bathroom and I stepped right off the carpet right there and I actually got startled a little bit it was only deer but there was three deer standing right there probably about five feet from the tent that's pretty cool this is a nice campsite a little close to the road but uh, this is nice campground. I like this campground. For a state campground. Looks nice. A lot of the campers got scared away this weekend. This park is full tonight, but there's definitely a lot of open sites. I think 20 some degrees deters tenders from coming out. I know myself, that's cold. The canvas keeps it nice and toasty though, doesn't yeah, it? It does. It does. And we got a heater. So we'll, no, be, we'll be fine because I was hot last night. I got, I was sweating a couple times. Yeah, so but it's going to be, be a lot colder tonight. Yeah, it is. 25 degrees colder. Yeah. Got a good fire going. Keeping us warm while we cook our chicken. How about this, folks? Check this out. Saturday night, this campground is fully booked. And we don't have anybody by us. That site's empty. Nobody's on that one. Nobody's on that one. Nobody's on the one way down there. Nobody's on the one way down there. This whole side of the campground, every site is reserved and nobody is here. How about that? We got a site at the last second because of a cancellation. We got to see the views that we saw this weekend. And we pretty much have a campground almost to ourselves. A whole state campground. Gorgeous, beautiful leaves. Can't ask for much more than that. Give the end of it a it's break, off. yeah, it, it's breaking off pretty easily. It's looking almost done. What do you think, Tina? I think it might be. 
I don't see any pink. No, me neither. All right, I'm privileged enough to get a little nibble before we get our plate. Mmm, that is moist. That's that is got good, good flavor, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's got really good flavor. It is good. This is the bomb. <laughs> it's the bomb. One of these days, these containers might break on me pouring boiling water right into it, but they haven't yet. Okay, we got our mashed potatoes. Now we got to get our corn and make our gravy. Of course, gotta, can't have mashed potatoes without gravy. Can't have Thanksgiving dinner without stuffing. All stirred up. Make sure there's no clumps. And then just wait for it to turn into stuffing. Simple, simple, simple. Can't get any more simple than that. Check this out. That bird looks good. You guys gotta see this close up. How good does that look? Okay, we got our corn. We got our mashed potatoes. We've got our gravy. Yeah. We're just ready for Jay to start carving. That's it. <laughs> Falling right off the bone, exactly the way you want it. Look at that, look how clean that bone is. Pretty clean. What are you thankful for, Tina? Right now this meal after a seven mile hike, very strenuous hike, I'm very glad to have a good meal. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, let's see, I'm thankful for my family torture and i'm thankful for hiking she's hungry folks she's starving. super hungry i'm thankful for my uh ability to be able to hike and enjoy what mother nature has given us enjoy your meal mm. well, chicken turned out really good it surpassed what i thought it was going to be Okay, so here's the taste tester right here. Tina's had her first bite. She likes it. In my tent. Okay. <laughs> wow. That is super moist. Very tender. Yes, but still very juicy. I mean, mm -hmm. it still has a lot of juice in it. Slow. That's what. That's what's good about slow cookers. Dutch ovens. They cook very slow and consistent. Certainly not quick to get your meal. 
but turns out good.